Hey guys, what's up? Scott here, and uh, as many of you might already know, I have left the building as far as JVlogging is concerned and headed down a new path. Uh, during that time, I made a video letting people know that I was both ending and starting a channel, and I think I've made a lot of people worried. Uh, <laughs> not intentionally so. Uh, I think I have a lot of people thinking I'm upset about something going on in the community or angry at a certain person, but I feel like I should explain further so that things are cleared up. And I have been invited on 2.5 Oyajis by Victor and Hiko. And so that's where I'll get a chance to do that and clarify things a little bit better. Hopefully, um, let everybody relax a little bit more and ease your worries. So if you could join me, I'll be on there, I believe, this weekend. And uh, I hope to see you there. So unrested quit YouTubing? No, that's not accurate, that's not accurate. And the light is terrible here, huh? Okay, well, hey guys, it's Victor, give me a break man, give me a flake man. I've got Don Quixote in the background and I'm out in the street again because I just love the way it looked last night when I did my, uh, my uh, what's his name, um, Soy G Max recommendation, uh, you know, because we're doing have a party, but that's not important now. <laughs> Somebody's watching. Anyway, um, <laughs> I wanted to talk about the fact that uh, unrested has quit has basically erased his channel pretty much for all intents uh, and purposes is that the correct expression and I think it's great I think it took a lot of courage I haven't talked to him in debt about it oh that looks better no you don't get the cool background light in my face here yes yeah so it's uh, it's an it's an amazing thing now one thing in the past that's bugged me is a few youtubers a, f a few other J vloggers have said I don't like being called a J-vlogger. I don't want to be called a J-vlogger anymore. But they're J-vloggers, dude. You know, it doesn't matter. And people are going to call you whatever the hell they want. You know, as the Eminem song says, and I've said, I quoted him before in the past, even though I'm not a rap, I'm not super into rap or anything, but I am whatever you say I am. So, dude, if I say you're a J-vlogger, then you're a J-vlogger. Take it or take it or leave it. And uh, if you agree with me, just clink your glass to the... Clink your glass. Beep, beep, there you go. Strong zero, okay. Hmm. If you make movies about Japan, many of you, I won't name, name any name, but you, you know who I'm talking about. You can write them in the comments, I wanna erase them. But if you make movies about uh, Japan, then you're a J-blogger. However, if you don't, then I don't really consider you a J-blogger, and nobody does, and it's fine. Like, Akasan, by the way, who, 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 I, who I, I love, I love you, man. I, love you. I mean, you know, not in an incestuous way. But, uh, <laughs> that's a good one, right? That's pretty funny in a weird way. Um, sorry, man, I just had a bag of salami. Uh, so, he doesn't, he's, he's a, he's a uh, response, I think they call him response? No. Reaction vlogger, right? He's a reaction vlogger, because that's what he does. He does reaction vlogs. So that's cool, no problem there, right? Uh, now, Scott Unrested has been a J-vlogger his whole, his whole, I guess, history here in, in on YouTube. And I was one of the people that got him started. Uh, and you can look back uh, at one of my first uh, Japanese for Morons videos, and he is featured there. Uh, he did a video about the difference between Kawaii and Kawaii, Kawaii, I think. Okay, so Victor asked me to do the next set of guest sensei lessons on his channel. And since his is called Japanese for Morons, I thought I would do a special segment called True, True Stories with Stupid, stupid Gadget. gadget. Okay, so our first story involves one of my friends. I'm just going to keep him anonymous so that he's not completely embarrassed. But if he knows who I'm talking about, he'll be embarrassed by this story. Okay, so our story concerns my friend walking down the street and enjoying the sights and sounds of Japan since he had just arrived. He also had just started to learn Japanese, so he wanted to use it as much as he possibly could. So while passing a lady and her very cute baby, he decided to say, oh, you have a cute baby, okay? So he walked up to her and said, ah, anata no akachan kuai. The lady looked at him in horror. Do you know why? 
He tried to say your baby is kawaii and he said your baby is kawaii. So for those of you who don't understand, he tried to say your baby is cute. I think everyone understands cute at this point. Apparently the word kawaii is now international. But he, he accidentally said your baby is scary. So that, you know, anyway. So um, Scott was, uh, was a, a, a formidable J vlogger for quite a bit. But in case you haven't heard, he has basically erased all, almost all the videos off his channel. And I think there's only like 17 or 18 left right now. This guy's talking on his phone. Look at this guy's talking on his phone. I mean, he's playing with his phone as he, can you see that? He's playing on his phone as he drives. Okay. That's bad. Can I say something? I'm too busy. Anyway, he, he erased all the videos and he wants to start over. And I think it's created a very interesting uh, question to those of us who are creative and are, want to do something uh, with, you know, with YouTube. And we're not that interested in, uh, in uh, J-Vlogging anymore. We're not interested in talking about Japan anymore. For people like that, I think, uh, well, you know what? Fuck what I think. <laughs> Unrested is gonna tell you what he thinks because we convinced him to come on to the Two and a Half Oyaji Show on this coming Saturday and we're gonna discuss that. We're gonna discuss why he shut down his channel and how he's going to um, face the challenge that he is that basically he wants his challenge was just basically to be creative I think it's a really hard thing to do especially when you've got, you've got two kids like he does I've got two kids now too Hiko's got one one's enough <laughs> uh, to my daughter uh, buttercup princess buttercup I just um, you know I just off the cuff I didn't think about it okay. one's enough uh, two is better of course <laughs> but um, you know, it's really tough to be creative as it is. And uh, it's even tougher when you take away, I think, the source, the biggest source of, or the, I wouldn't say biggest, I would say easiest source of material. What is this guy doing? Which is Japan. This guy's just like running the red light. He's like, look at this. This guy just ran through. This guy just ran through the. He just ran past it, right? He's like, whatever, dude. Okay, good job. That's good. That's good. Good job. Good job. Yeah, he does. He does even clueless, completely clueless. Okay. Anyway, join us on Saturday night. Uh, tell me what you and, and prepare questions. So if you want, if you want to, you can leave questions on this video, telling us what questions you would like us to ask Unrested Scott, uh, who has pretty, pretty much erased his channel. Not completely. Um, yeah. Saturday night on Hiko Simon's channel at 10.30 p.m. Join us, it's gonna be, you know, we only do two and a half voyages occasionally now because we're both uh, stre or stressed or we're both pressed for time. But join us, we'd love to see you, okay? And I'm, I'm looking forward to talking to Scott directly. I, I, whenever I talk to Scott, you know, honestly, whenever I talk to Scott, I, we don't even discuss YouTube, we just talk about kids and shit these days. Uh, so, I, I, honestly, I didn't even know he had done what he had done until I found out by watching the video, which is weird because usually we know what everyone else is up to, kind of in a way. Anyway, looking forward to that. I hope you're looking forward to it. Join us on Saturday night, this coming weekend, which I think will be, who will that be? What day is that? Uh, what's today, 25th, 24th, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. I believe it will, it will be the 27th, or the, the nearest date, the, in, in three days, whatever that is. Figure it out, look at the date, check your time zones, and I'll talk to you then. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.